Back here at BMO Field, where Toronto FC are unbeaten through three home games so far this season, facing a Houston side transformed in the offseason after finishing with the worst record in the West. Just the one change for the Houston Dynamo starting lineup tonight as AJ De La Garza comes in at right back, a former MLS Cup winner during his time with LA Galaxy. They have Eric Torres up front, as KJ mentioned, Albert Ellis as well. For the first time this season, Craig Vanny names the same side for back to back games. Yeah, Michael Bradley, the captain, outstanding against Chicago Fire. Expect the same from him again, stepping into things, really setting the tone. Switch to the left from Jovinko, right onto the foot of Edwards. Vasquez, now Delgado, Jovinko, back for Marky Delgado. Lovely ball to pick out Edwards on the left, they're lining up in the middle. It's Josie Altidore, and it is 1-0. A really well worked goal from Toronto FC, and 16 minutes in, it's Altidore who finds the finish. Absolutely fantastic goal by Toronto FC, moving the ball from one side to the other. We spoke about when they do that, how dangerous they are. Raheem Edwards ends up in acres of space. And again, we talked earlier in the week with coach Greg Vanny about Edwards' ability to pick his head up and look for the open man. He does this tremendously well here. Thought he was going to fizz it across the goal. Instead, cuts it back to Altador. The finish is there. Tremendous goal from TFC, really stretching this Houston Dynamo defence. Here's Kubo Torres, slides it through, Elise is chasing here, and it comes for Alex, and saved well by Bono. Alex yet to score this season, was denied by TFC's 23-year-old keeper. Edwards down the left side, plays it back here for Josie Altador. Jovinko into the path of Altador! <laughs> Josie Altador with his second goal of the game. And what another great move from Toronto FC. From young Raheem Edwards, cuts it back to Altador. What a magnificent one too that is from a strength player from TFC. Giovinko and Altador on completely the same wavelength. 1-2, magnificent ball back, and a touch and finish. Emphatic from Jose Altidore, putting his side into a very commanding 2-0 lead. We have to go back to 2014 for TFC's last win against the Dynamo. Here's Sebastian Jovinko. Bit of space for Jovinko, off the post from the Italian. What a save. There is an opportunity there, these defenders follow the forwards in their space for a late run from Betisure or Delgado in behind into that central space. Kyoto up against Zavaleta, it's pulled back in here, Elise turns, Moro did well. He did enough to get the block in the way and prevent Albert Elise from getting the shot away. It's corner number nine for Houston, and that left boot of Sanchez will swing it in, headed away by Edwards. All the way out for Kyoto. Driven well wide after stepping past Zavaleta. Another wasted opportunity from Kyoto. Showed great composure in the first instance to take it past Zavaleta. Got to hit the target with his left foot. He'll allow one final attack here for TFC. Edwards has it down the left up against De La Garza. Raheem Edwards cutting inside. And then on the outside of De La Garza, it's gone out for a corner. There won't be time to take it. It's full time at BMO Field. A double from Josie Altador. He now has five for the season. And TFC wins back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. It finishes 2-0 against the Dynamo.